Okay, today we are going to take a um, virtualized Windows 7 workstation that's already been configured the way I want to use it for deployment. It's got Office installed, it's got a couple software tools installed. Um, and I'm going to prepare that system for deployment in a virtual environment on ESXi and then I will create a um, open virtualization appliance, transfer that appliance to the ESXi server and then deploy it from that server locally. So let's go ahead and log into our vSphere client. Log into the server here. And here you can see we've got the PC up and running. This is a summary of the machine as it's configured. Um, now this work can be done either through the console here in the client or through, I could do this one through remote desktop because I already have um, remote desktop enabled on this machine, but we'll just go ahead and do it through the client. So I'm going to open a separate console window. And I'm logged in as the local administrator account. So let's go ahead and uh, prepare this thing for deployment. Um, I'm gonna open an elevated command prompt by typing CMD, right click, run as administrator, tell it yes. And that drops us into the Windows System 32 folder. So let's change directories into sysprep. And then we're gonna run the sysprep command. Now I'm gonna add a couple switches. I'm gonna generalize the image. I'm going to create an out of box experience, OOBE, and I'm going to shut down the PC when it's done. Hit enter, and sysprep will run. And that's it. This machine has been prepared for deployment. Um, so as soon as it's done shutting down, we'll go ahead and create a, an open virtualization appliance out of it. So back in our client, let's go file, and we'll export OBF template, sysprep. I'm going to make a single file in this particular situation and tell it okay. Now this will take some time depending on the size of your system image. Uh, this one's probably going to be about 14, 15 gigabytes in size. So because I already actually have a sysprepped image on my local machine, I'm going to cancel this right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete that machine from inventory and from the disk. Now I'll minimize this, I'm going to grab the local image I have in my documents, put it on my desktop, and go back into our vSphere client. Now in order to get the image um, that you've just created that's on your local PC onto the ESXi server data store, uh, I'm going to go to configuration, I'm going to go to storage right click on my data store and I'm going to click browse. Now I've got a folder here for images. Um, as you can see I already have an image there which is 14, 14 gigabytes in size roughly. I put it up there a little bit ago. Um, but from this location you would just you would simply do an upload, upload file, browse you know, to the local file. So I'm not going to actually upload this one because it will overwrite the file I already have on the server. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel, but all you would do is um, back at that dialog, of course, select your file, tell it to open, 
and it'll begin the upload process. That will take some time depending on the size of your uh, system image, your OVA. So now, <clears throat> in order to de deploy that OVA from the internal um, data store, or from any external data store for that matter, we're going to have to say deploy OVF template. Now, you can browse and you can select the local copy if you chose not to upload it to your data store, which will take some time because it's going to transfer directly across the wire, you know, from your machine to the um, ESX server. But for this situation, because it isn't on the internal data store, I'm going to go to a um, secure folder on the server. So let's go HTTPS. Uh, in your browser, hit your IP address of the server, and then do slash folder. Now this should prompt me, okay, yeah, I understand the risks. This should prompt for a username and password. I'm going to use my root account on this particular box, log in. Gives us HA data center folder, internal, and then OVA templates. Now, here you can see I have my sysprep file. That's the open virtualization appliance file. And I'm just going to copy link location. That gives me a full URL to the folder as it sits on the server. So it says deploy from a file or URL. Like I said, you can do it locally. But because I've already copied this one up to the server, I'm going to just paste that link in there. And click next. Now it's going to tell me what the product is, the download size. Okay, it comes out at 13.4 gigabytes. Thick provisioning, thin provisioning, and then um, of course the description I created when I uh, made the OVA. Next, and then we want a name for this machine. So for this machine, I'm going to call it. And Mino workstation, since this is going to be my first workstation in this um, VMware lab. Internal, do I want thick provisioning or thin provisioning? I'm going to go ahead and stick with thick provisioning, lazy zeroed. And then we have the option to power on after deployment. So I'm going to select that and click finish. Okay, our deployment's complete, and this machine should be booting up, so we can grab the console from that machine. And there we have it, a clean deployment of a um, sysprep image into our virtual machine here.